Hi guys, this is Sam from Fluid Social. Today I want to talk to you about how you can actually get out of your rut, how you can get back into the flow of things. And this is really important because this is something that I've been going through recently. So the past week I have had COVID-19. I haven't been tested because over here they ram a hard thing up your nose and I've got small sinuses. And I don't want to see a bloody mess on the floor because Brazilian people don't know how to do the test properly. But essentially I probably got COVID, I'm coming off the back of it now. Um, or else it's some other kind of flu. And what I found as the, the last sort of three days I've been recovering, I've been getting a bit better, is that I've been trying to force myself back out, right? I've been trying to get back out into the swing of things, back approaching, back being active, doing sport, hitting the gym, everything that I was doing before. I was in quite a good flow of life before, and now I've sort of come out of this, and I've maybe lost my routine. I haven't been going to the gym because I've been sick. I found myself getting irritated by things that I wasn't before. I haven't been meditating. I haven't been doing my stretching. I've lost my routine. And what a lot of you guys will find if, if you have a similar experience, when life sometimes backs you into a corner and takes away a lot of the, the freedoms and the options that you had before, is that you feel your personality start to change. Because after all, our personality is dependent on the actions we're taking. Our self-evaluation, the way we see ourselves, is based on how we see ourselves to be pursuing and successfully attaining the goals that we set ourselves on a daily basis and the goals that we hold for ourselves in the future as well. And so as I've been trying to force myself back in, I found myself getting frustrated. I went to the gym yesterday and the day before. I wasn't able to do what I normally would. I saw a pretty girl on the beach and I was feeling under the weather and I wasn't able to approach her. I mean, not to mention the fact that I probably have COVID, so I shouldn't be, right? But we put tremendous pressure on ourselves when we're backed into a corner to be performing as we usually do. And I think the really important thing here to realize is that today's joy is tomorrow's sorrow. Tomorrow's sorrow is, to, is, the, is the, the following day's joy. Essentially this idea that you've got to be the master of your emotions. You've got to accept that if you're feeling down today and you really are feeling down, it's not down to you. Sometimes you wake up and you do your meditation and it doesn't work. You can't focus. Sometimes you go to the gym and you simply can't do the exercises that you would normally do. Sometimes our hormonal balances change. Sometimes we get sick. Sometimes something happens that is unavoidable. The consequences are unavoidable. And we're backed into a corner. And we feel our, st our personality starts to deteriorate in some ways. Or at least start to change in a way that we don't necessarily like. Perhaps we regress back into a state that we held years before, a more childlike state. And in these moments, the most important thing to think about, which I don't talk about often, but it is a tool in all of our toolkits, is the stoic process of being the master of your emotions. Understanding that some days are going to be good, some days are going to be bad, you can't necessarily control that. So when things are going badly, you hold in your mind the truth that you know to be true, that on the other side of this upset, on the other side of these problems, is a great well of happiness and peace. And when things are going really well and you start to get ahead of yourself, you know, cold approach is easy, meeting women's easy, having my morning routine is all sorted, I don't need to think about any of this. Just around the corner hides obstacles, hides the demons that are going to pounce and, and take you down a notch. They're going to slam straight into that arrogance or that self-evaluation that you've now created and they're going to humble you and they're going to bring you back down. And it's going to be very difficult if you think that everything is static now, if you think that your progress is certain and everything is just an uphill, uphill straight line from here. It never is the case. Whenever we get complacent, life buffets us and brings us down. Whenever life is bringing us down and we see no way out, life gives you a leg up. On the other side of joy is sadness. On the other side of sadness is joy. Now this doesn't have to be depressing and this isn't to say that if you're happy, you should make yourself sad or denigrate your happiness. No, enjoy it. When things are going well, when all ahead of you, you see green lights, keep driving, keep going towards the green lights. Enjoy it. But understand in the back of your mind that the lights are going to turn red at some point. Things are going to get harder.
and if you find yourself stopped at red lights, putting out fires, unable to make progress right now for whatever reason, relax into it. Do what you can. Enjoy this time where you're not working so hard, where you have a bit of time to take perspective. Notice yourself getting distracted. Notice yourself becoming that childlike form again. Notice your personality changing. Notice the things that you miss and that you're looking forward to on the other side. Each time we have an up and a down, we have what I think about, what I think about as a mini renaissance, mini renaissance. We have an opportunity to rebuild in a different way, to reform habits in a better way than we had them before. Each time things go badly, each time you're backed into a corner, if you catch COVID like I have, just when I'm in a good flow for work and then I catch COVID and I lose my ability to attend to tasks, I lose my ability to work out, I lose contacts, you know, potentially women that I might be messaging or wanted to date, I miss opportunities, I fall behind. Each time this happens, you have an opportunity to respond to whatever's going wrong in a way that considers with more care how you should be responding, in a way that is stronger, in a way that is more versatile, more adaptable, more emotionally intelligent. And each time you have a mini renaissance, you take this little step in the right direction, two steps forward, one step back, two steps forward, one step back. That is the nature of a healthy self-progression, is two steps forward, one step back. Whenever things are going so well that you just feel like nothing can stop you, never try to denigrate that feeling. Appreciate it, enjoy it, follow it, work with it, ride the wave, and understand that you're gonna take a step back at some point in the future. Understanding this is essentially like understanding your own mortality. When people get in this ecstasy that everything's going well and their life is easy and their life is just gonna stay easy for the rest of their life, it's the equivalent of living like you're never gonna die, forgetting that you're ever actually going to die. And when you keep in mind that I'm so happy everything is good, but I know that this is gonna to come to an end and I'm preparing for that. It's the same as monitoring your emotions. It's the same as bringing that, that happiness and that, that when life is going so well, it's the same as moderating it to understand that that's not always going to be the case. And instead of this ruining the feeling, actually what it does is it prolongs it. And it brings a sense of peace, fluidity, stability to whatever emotion you are feeling. It caps the lows so they don't go any lower and it caps the highs so you don't get carried away and create a deep well of sadness on the other side. This is the key to having that slow but certain progress of two steps forward, one step back. You must monitor the highs, monitor the, the lows, believe and understand that on the end of each high is a low and on the end of each low is a high. Appreciate and work with that pattern of life and you will continue to flourish. Two steps forward, one step back. So I'm coming out the other side of COVID, I'm feeling better now, I'm getting back out there. I just went to the gym this morning and I'm back to full strength. Um, met a beautiful girl at the gym, went for a little run with her. Um, so we'll see what happens there, but this is what I mean. As soon as I could accept, look Sam, you're not gonna be able to do everything as well as you were. The following day, I'm back to full strength. And when I'm saying, look, you don't have to approach women now, like you may even have COVID, don't, don't get wrapped up in things that you can't control and things that aren't even gonna be helpful for anyone. And you accept that, then the opportunities come to you. This is always my experience. When I believe this, when I understand this, when I fully appreciate this, my expectations are rewarded by positive experiences on the other side, such as that which I had today. So I'm sorry for my absence again, guys but uh, I didn't want to make half assed videos when I'm not feeling up to full strength and I'm not feeling great, but I'm back now. I'm gonna be doing these videos every day again, or at least every couple of days. I'm looking forward to hearing more of your guys' feedback. As always, any questions, jump on a free 30 minute phone call. My Calendly link in the description below the video. Tusk and I will be traveling up to the Northeast of Brazil from the 21st of March. And so we're going to be taking some clients in Recife, 
Fortaleza towards the end of March, early April. So anyone interested in meeting us out there or any other questions, get in contact on the Calendly link below. I look forward to hearing back from some of you guys. Take it easy. Sam, out.